Are you a content creator who's tried using ChatGPT for script writing and all it's given you is garbage? I feel you. That's why when JP Fitch 492 left this comment, I decided to outline my AI script writing process end to end. I'll share the detailed process I use to go from a blank page to a full script with AI, from researching to outlining to drafting. I'll also talk about some of the things that you should be concerned about when using AI for script writing that a lot of the other YouTube videos won't tell you. I'll show you how to use these tools to enhance your unique voice. I'm David Dundas, COO of Eight Figure Brand YGN, and I run an agency that connects creators with brands. I want to help you get paid more to do the things you love. Hit the subscribe button if you're into that. Let's jump into my laptop. I use AI to assist me in creating content. I don't use it to automate generating content. I recently made a video about the weird things I saw when I tried to ask OpenAI about the Scarlett Johansson, Sam Altman drama. I'll link it above. And I needed a full script for that video. I used Perplexity AI to help me out. I've added a link in the description where I have all the prompts with the responses for this video, and I have an outline that you can follow. So check that out. The first step in writing any script for any YouTube video will be your topic. We're gonna to assume for this video that you already have a topic that you wanna talk about. We wanna use perplexity to start our researching process and get our arms around the topic and see what the internet's saying about it. I wanted to show you that we are using Claude Opus. Claude is my favorite AI model for writing because it follows instructions a little bit more closely in my opinion. So you can see which ones you like. You might like GPT-40 uh, better. Let's get started by going over to library. And if you had different collections, you'll want to jump into the collection you have. The only reason why you'd want to use a collection is if you have specific prompts that you want to give to the AI with every request that you send it. And we'll just start a new thread. And we're writing a video about the recent issues with Scarlett Johansson uh, versus OpenAI. Can you give me a detailed breakdown of what happened, including the different takes and opinions on the matter? We want to have the takes and opinions so that we can brainstorm our angle on the video. And let's hit submit here. Okay, great. So we have that. And so we're just going to drop that first part here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run that prompt again, but this time we're going to have it mainly look at Reddit. Let's do that. Okay. We're going to search Reddit, search Reddit to give me a detailed breakdown. Okay. So we're going to grab that and we're going to just drop it here. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go back and we're just going to do it one more time, but we're going to do it for uh, YouTube. So let's just say search for YouTube and let's do YouTube here and let's go here. Okay. All right, so this kind of gives us a few different perspectives. That's what's really important with a research process is that you want to get different angles. And so this has saved us hours now in doing our research for our script. So let's just pop this here. Now we're just going to go through and you can really quickly just scan. So background and you just say YouTube here and Reddit here. It's just like label it says we're, as we're going through, we know what's what. This is general overview, breaks it down, legal counsel, the differing perspectives, those critical open AI, open eyes defenders. I like how it breaks it down there. And then the Reddit overview, it has a specific angle here of what are the issues and then differing perspectives on Reddit. So I think this is interesting. And then YouTube here the controversy, the reactions and the fallout. So you get different perspectives when you use those different sources and it gives you a more comprehensive coverage of the topic. Now that we have the research, every video needs an angle. It needs to have a, an opinion. It needs to have something more than just kind of regurgitating the information. Otherwise, you may as well just use the AI for everything. And that's boring and people won't engage with that. But what you want to do is you want to have a perspective. For this video, I had a perspective. I created an audio note that I'll share with you that just laid out my thoughts and my experience and what was different about my take on, on this topic. But if you don't have one, what we want to do is we can go back up here. We'll take three, three different sources. We'll copy all of it and we'll paste it back into perplexity again. So we go here, let's go to writing. So the writing focus so that it doesn't go back out 
and and search the internet again we already have a nice contained set of information that we want to reference let's paste this here and let's just say based on the following topic give me five different engaging angles for a YouTube video. You can approach your video from a number of different angles. This has given us five different angles, right? It is Scarlett Johansson a pioneer and drawing the battle lines for uh, AI versus Hollywood. The future of AI voices and voice replication technology, voice cloning, that's an interesting angle. Behind the scenes, what's the culture of open AI? Can they be trusted? That's a theme that seems to be popping up now. I ethics and celebrity rights and legal battle, right? So you have all these different angles that you can take and you will decide which one you take. But I strongly suggest that you ask this question just to start brainstorming what the angle is if you don't already have have one. And I'll share the voice note from the brainstorm of, from my perspective of this topic. So I think this is kind of interesting. Let's go behind the scenes at OpenAI and look at that because there may be people who are fans of OpenAI and want a behind the scenes look. And so let's take this angle here. Let's just put this at the bottom here. Video script angle. So now we have the angle. The next thing that we need is a voice and you want to have a voice for your video. It should be based on who you are or based on maybe a channel or a type of content that you want to be inspired by or you want to model. So we're just going to go back to the video that I actually created here. Let's go back to the transcript and let's just copy this video transcript here. And what we want to do is we want to go back into OpenAI again, and we want to get the voice. So we can say, based on the following YouTube transcript, describe the voice and tone, including some examples that we can use in our future scripts. This is my video. I've already defined the, the voice, but you can really use any video that you want. And you want to get at what is the voice and the tone of this video. So let's do that. Important thing to note is that if you're just copying somebody else, it's not going to be unique and it probably won't be genuine. So you want to think about how you can find content that you really like personally, or if you already have content, you can use your own content to articulate the voice back to the AI. So let's just submit this really quickly. We've taken the voice that I use for this video and let's just copy this here. And then we're going to just drop this back into our document, our notepad here. Now we have our tone and voice for the video. This is the tone and voice that we want to use. The next step is we want to generate an outline for the video. But what we're going to do is I have this uh, YouTube video structure that I summarized from, uh, from a YouTube video that I'll show you here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the template that he outlined in this video. We're going to go back in and we're going to say, based on this research intro and tone and voice guide, write an outline for our YouTube video. Ensure you define roughly how long in both minutes and words each section should be. And this is, really, this is really important. And I'll show you why it is in a second once it generates it. We're just gonna grab this YouTube video structure here and we're gonna just drop it in. And then we're just gonna grab all of this. We're gonna grab the tone and voice guideline here. We're gonna drop that in too. And then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna grab everything else. So it's now, it, not only has it given us an outline, it's given us the length of time and roughly the number of words that this outline should be. It's based on the video structure that we've given it. So it can be any video structure, you can make your own. When you get this video outline, an important aspect of it is that you have to make sure that you're going through and reading the outline and that it's what you would want it to say. So if you disagree with OpenAI's perspective, you're gonna have to edit this yourself because the AI is gonna use this as a template to extend out the script. So if there's a take or if there's a perspective that you want to remove, this is one of the most important aspects of this process is your outline. Be sure that you read through this pretty closely and you as a human are making the edits because everything that this script expands into will be based on the outline. It's your roadmap. But you want to make sure that your roadmap is going where you want to go. Maybe you don't want it to summarize. Maybe you don't think that they're valid. You want to be sure that this outline is, is based 
based on what you think is the right type of content that you want to be putting out there. We're working with the AI and guiding it to the output or the first draft of the video based on our research, based on our angles, and based on the information that we're curating for the AI. And so ask a rhetorical question about whether AI companies should be allowed to replicate celebrity voices, provide a brief context of the sky voice, preview the key points. So now we have this all laid out. So let's grab this and we're gonna just drop it down at the bottom of our notepad document. We're just gonna say, let's say based on the outline and the following angle, generate, generate th five intros with compelling hooks for this video. Okay, we now have five hooks. So this one is, have you ever wondered where, and like, it's boring, right? The next one is shocking statement. Oh, when OpenAI unveiled their new AI assistant with a voice uncannily similar to Scarlett Johansson's, it wasn't just a technological feat. It was a calculated decision driven by an intense desire for viral success at any cost. The level of obsession raises some serious ethical questions. And so that, that has some heft to it right? That kind of is meaty. Imagine working at a secret, that's not very interesting. What could possibly motivate an AI company to repeatedly pursue using a celebrity's voice and likeness against their wishes? That's not bad. You've heard about the Scarlett Johansson AI voice, but do you know the full story? That's really good too. So you have a few hooks. Why don't we go with the shocking statement hook? We're going to grab that one. And we're gonna, we're gonna go back to our notepad and we're gonna drop this down at the bottom. And now that we have the intro, we have our voice, we have our outline and we have our research, then we're gonna go back in and now we're gonna feed all of this back in to write the first draft of our script. So let's grab this prompt here. Let's go back up here. We're gonna reset it. We're gonna open this back up. And now that we have some framing of the topic, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back out to the internet and we're gonna paste our research in, but then it can overlay on top of that any other research that might be relevant from the internet for writing the full YouTube video. We'll just paste this here based on the outline, tone and voice, our video template and the intro, write a full 12 minute YouTube video script for me to read on camera. We're actually telling it, okay, this is to be read on camera. And so you're giving it another clue that should be more conversational. So we've pasted that in. Next, let's paste in the intro. Let's grab the outline. Let's paste that in. And next, what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll have the tone of voice here, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're going to Let's paste in the video structure. And then finally, let's go back in and paste all of our research here, the Reddit overview, YouTube. Okay, all right. So now we're, we've given it a ton of context and it's searching for information. It's going through each step and processing it. Now we have this draft of a script. The last thing that we want to do is we just want to word check it to ensure that it's the length that we ask for, because sometimes if you ask an AI to generate a 12 minute script, sometimes it won't do it. So we would just wanna double check it and we'll just use this prompt. Can you give me the word count on what you just wrote and a rough estimate of how long it would be if it was read as a YouTube script? It's only 1,027 words, so that's too short. Say, let's make suggestions on areas in this script where we can expand on the topic to make it roughly 1200 words or 12 minutes long. We could just ask it to extend it, but what I want to do is I want to give it the uh, outline and I want to give it the script that it just wrote and say, based on these suggestions, review the script you wrote and the outline and extend this video to be roughly 1200 words or 12 minutes long. Let's go back, let's grab the outline and just say, based on your suggestions, review this outline and the script and expand it to be the 12 minutes long or 1200 to 1400 words. Great. So we're just gonna paste in the outline here and let's just draft. And let's just go back up here Let's just paste this in too. 
Okay, so did we lose our voice? This is the challenge with AI is that if you ask it to do a rewrite, it might forget the voice or the structure based on the following structure and tone and voice. Ensure that this script 12 minutes long when read through. Okay, why don't we go back here? Why don't we go to video structure, grab this, put that in here and we're gonna go back to our tone and voice and let's grab this and drop this in too. So we, we had it rewrite and we wanna go through that process of giving me an estimate. Okay, so now the word count is roughly 1293, eight to nine minutes roughly. And I think this is good enough. We can take this and then the next step is now our job. I use a app called Hemingway Editor. What's great about it is that it helps you simplify your language. Hemingway Editor has a free plan and they have a paid version, but once you've generated the first draft, I pop in here because it just helps me quickly read it aloud and look at whether there are areas that are too complicated or the AI kind of got too fancy. So why don't we just paste this in? Um, and so you can see that it's 1,357 words, grade 14, we, this is too complicated. You can go through, and what's nice about Hemingway is you can go through and say, should big, should powerful tech companies be allowed to replicate celebrity voices and likenesses without consent? Should big tech companies be allowed to copy celebrity voices? So that's much simpler language, and it's easier to understand. You got another suggestion, the voices and faces of celebrities, right? So use this suggestion, they would do so without consent. I don't love this here. Then we go through and we edit it with our own voice even further. That's a million dollar question. Sparked by the recent battle. We can say sparked by the recent, so that's fine. Okay, many viewers. By the way, was sounded eerily similar. She played. Many listeners noted right away that the AI voice, many viewers noticed that the AI's voice sounded eerily similar to Johan's iconic performance. And so you just go through and you edit this, this down until it actually sounds like you. You do have to do the editing on your own, but we can go through Hemingway, we can do all of these ed edits. The goal of this is to lean on these tools to help you do research faster, to gather points of view faster, help you brainstorm different angles and different hooks. So that's the process that I use to draft scripts. If you haven't upgraded to Perplexity yet, I've added a link in the description where you can save $10 off your first month when you upgrade. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm David Dundas, signing off. Peace.